Yup, it's a beautiful day to be alive, and I want to welcome you to the Daddy Sweat. Today I have Tina on the camera, ready to get it rocking and rolling. Today's going to be a fun workout. Um, look, let's just jump right into it with some jumping jacks. 15 seconds, 3, 2, 1, and go. So today's movements, man, I want to make sure that we're nice and loose. I'm ready to rock this workout. Man, we're about to kill it. We only got five rounds, and you press play on a D25. Today was a tough one, I'm going to be honest. Let's get to some hot knees in 3, 2, 1, and go. Hot knees. I don't know if this is moderate or intense, but if I had to pick one, I'm going to say this one's moderate. Not moderate to intense. I think this one's moderate. But you guys let me know on Instagram what you guys think. All right, let's get some quick feet. Three, two, one, and go for three, two, one, and relax. All right, so today's going to be a full body movement. We're going to hit the triceps. We're going to hit the chest a little bit. We're going to also hit the legs a little bit. Then we're going to hit the abs. So let's make sure we stretch it all out. So first movement, Tina, if we can, just go right in across your chest. Hold it for 10 seconds with me. Um, I don't know, man. I just want everybody to be empowered today. I want you to know that you're amazing. I don't know if you ever hear that. I don't hear it. All. I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if anybody ever tell me I'm amazing. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's switch sides. But I do want you guys to know that you guys are amazing and you're awesome. And uh, you deserve whatever you the heart desire. You deserve it. Okay, so let's work towards it. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one, and relax. Let's go wide stance. And let's... Uh, why, why, why? You gotta get wider than that. Why, 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 why? Tell Tina to get flexible, y'all. What's she doing? All right, get down to the middle. Reach for the ground. All right, guys, hold it for 10 seconds. Big deep breath and exhale into that, that deeper stretch every single time you get the opportunity. For five, four, three, two, and relax. Let's go Spider Man stretch. If Tina, if you can face me, uh, one leg back and perfect. And I want you to lean in with your hips as much as possible. 10. Nine, eight, seven. Really good to get the hip flexor, man. We're going to really get down and dirty today, baby. All right, come out of it slowly, and then we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. Ten second hold. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, and good. Let's have a seat on our booty. All right, we're going to do a butterfly stretch. Uh, feet together. We're going to push down with your elbows. Uh, every single time, I just want you to literally just exhale and sink deeper, deeper into that stretch. So big inhale, and you just sink on down. Want to hit that hip flexor? Five, four, three, two. Now I want you to put your right foot on your left foot. No, stay there, stay there. Right foot on your left, or put your right foot on your calf. Either or. I want to stretch that hip out as much as possible. So Tina has the right on top of her left, so she should be feeling this more in her right hip. And if you can bring it more higher up towards your knee, the better, okay? So if you just got to sit, what is it called? Applesauce crisscross? You can't say that no more. You can't say that no more. You can't, you can't be saying that, Tina. We on the daily sweat. You can't be doing that. <laughs> All right, here we go. Switch sides. The pretzel. That's definitely a made-up name by you. I never heard the pretzel. Yeah, but it's not the universal name in the fitness industry. That's why they changed the applesauce crisscross. That's how we do all day, y'all. Y'all, y'all, y'all don't, y'all don't even know. All right, three, two, one, and relax. All right, let's get on up, guys. Uh, on this one, I want you to think thruster. Okay, just a warm up. Act like you have weight in your hand. Go in that deep squat, and then press to the sky. <sighs> Blow out. Good. I want you guys to do nine more on your count. Um, again, the, the, the point of this is just to warm your body up. I want you to go into that deep, deep stretch. I mean, squat, 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 deep, deep squat, and then lock out every single time up top. Get some good blood flow, allowing those muscles to know that they about to get it on and popping. Good, good. Tina, let me know when you're there, and then we'll kind of have a feel for when everybody else is going to be there. Good, good, good. One more for Tina. So... You should be pretty close to doing your 10. I'll give you about another, I don't know, 10 more seconds to finish up. And if you're not finished then, then just go ahead and relax. Uh, but I believe everybody's pretty much done. All right. So five more seconds. Four, three, two, one, and relax. All right, Tina. So you can continue to stay stretched, stay loose. I'm going to explain the workout. I think it's going to be fun. Do you think it's going to be fun? Okay. Do you know what the workout is? No, she don't, she don't, I'm just letting y'all know, she don't even know, she, I run this, I, no, nah, alright, so, we have three segments that we're gonna do, 
the first segment it will always be in hold and then the second segment will be how many reps you can get with control tempo so in those three movements the first minute remember 30 seconds and 30 seconds the first minute is going to be real simple you're going to hold your um torpedo your dumbbell your kettlebell off the uh, off your chest like a bench press right a chest press you're just going to hold it and then for the next 30 seconds you're going to get as many reps as you can and i'll show you a form in a little bit but that 30 and 30 will be your first minute you'll get a 30 second break in between the second thing it seems like anytime tina does a workout with us she does a wall sit and she loves wall sits okay so the wall sit <laughs> is going to be for 30 seconds and then after the 30 seconds you can either do a, a goblet uh squat excuse me a goblet reverse lunge or a goblet step up if you have the prop at the house but again i'm gonna show you form in a little bit so after that 30 and 30 you'll get a 30 second break and then for the last minute the first 30 seconds is going to be six inches you're going to hold it and then for the last 30 seconds you're going to get as many sit-ups as you can so the fun part comes in is whenever you have to take a break for example if we're doing the chest press let me go with form first and then um Tina wants a mat, guys. So we're going to grab a mat. Um, I'll place it right here so you guys can see her. But uh, Tina's going to lay flat on her back. Spine is aligned against the ground. Knees are going to be bent. Feet are going to be flat. So on this movement, it's really important that you lock your elbows in. I don't want your elbows flaring out. Okay, so elbows are going to be tucked in. So Tina goes straight to the sky. No, on the outside. For those that have the torpedo, you're on the outside. For those that have a set of dumbbells, we're holding it like this, right? With your, with your two dumbbells, you're just going to hold it upright. And then for those that have a kettlebell, I want you to place your thumb in the inside. So when you're holding your press, you're holding the bell of the kettlebell, okay? Thumbs are going to be in the inside. All right, so with that being said, Tina holds the torpedo goes up and holds it all right right here stomach's tight all you're doing is focusing on your breathing so for the first 30 seconds she holds it and then when i finish counting down from three two one she goes into a chest press letting those triceps touch the ground locking out every single time remember keeping those elbows as close as possible go ahead and relax tina so this is the fun part if you're holding and you have to take a break before the 30 second mark say you have to take a break at the 15 second mark you'll go down but then you got to work for the remainder of the 45 seconds. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. So Tina gets on up. Second movement is going to be a wall uh, wall sit. So if you've never seen this before, Tina can pick any space on the wall. I'm putting all type of stuff on the wall. But go ahead and grab the wall, Tina. She gets her spine on the wall, knees above her heels, hips aligned. I'll walk your feet back just a little bit. Good. So she's holding it for 30 seconds. Go ahead and relax, Tina. Say she has to stop 10 seconds in. That means for the remainder of the time, she can do reverse lunges in a goblet position or she can do step ups. So if you can, grab your torpedo, get to your front rack position. So she'll go one step back into a reverse lunge position. Notice her feet are flat in the front and the leg in the front is doing all the work. Also, you'll notice that she's keeping her weight in her front rack position. And you can do the same thing with a set of dumbbells or with your kettlebell okay your second option if you have the prop now we have a box here because we pretty much have everything here but if you have a chair a stack of bumper plates and you want to switch it up today instead of a reverse lunge she go to that front rack position and then she can do alternating step ups okay so either one of those are totally cool that you can utilize and then the third and final thing that we're going to do today is going to be the six inches. So she's back on the ground, putting her hands on her glutes, which is really important, guys. It helps you from arcing your back. She keeps her heels on the ground. We hold this for 30 seconds. Go ahead and show her. Yeah. No, definitely off the ground. <laughs> well, that, I was wrong. I was wrong. So she keeps her heels off the ground. Go ahead and relax. If she happens to drop, before the 30 second mark, she goes into her sit-ups earlier. So knees are bent and she gets up to her feet. If that's a little bit too challenging, she just does a regular standard crunch. Just do a regular crunch. Good. And then perfect. So that's basically it. I'm going to walk you all the way through. But 30 seconds, 30 seconds, a total of one minute. 30 second break in between. We're going to repeat this for a total of five rounds. All right.
You ready? Oh, you don't have to keep up with it. You don't have to keep up with it. That's my job. I'm going to keep up with it. All right. All right, guys. With that being said, if Tina can walk to the screen, give everybody three different fist pumps. That would be incredible. Fist pump number one. Did you give him two? Did you give him another one? All right. They're good. All right, guys. So with that being said, just remember, uh, tempo is everything. Don't worry about speed. Don't worry about how much weight that you have. Other than that, I'm finishing setting up the clock. I should have set this up before, right? Uh, we have three exercises, and then we're going to do a total of 30 seconds in between, and perfect. All right, here we go. My clock starts in 10 seconds. So we're starting with that chest press, laying on your back with your set of dumbbells or your torpedo in five, four, three, two, one, and hold. All right, her knees are, on the, are bent, feet are on the ground. Good, arms are locked out. Try not to keep your arms bent. You wanna keep them locked out the whole time, okay? Really, really, really important, all right? All right, we are 15 seconds in. I'm gonna kind of stage how we're gonna do our step ups just in case Tina wants to do the step ups. All right, here we go. Clock says you have six seconds. Come on, five, four, three, two one now get as many press as you can good so again i'm not looking for no little prison chest presses okay lock out every time come to the ground lock out come to the ground good 20 seconds in keeping those elbows in especially for my ladies man it's gonna really put you in a position to work those triceps no more jiggles baby okay good good here we go 10 seconds come on nine hey come on fellas i want you to squeeze your chest up top come on five four three two one and relax beautiful job all right so we got a 30 second break 30 second break recover remember it's gonna be a moderate workout so it's not gonna be boom 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 it's not a tabata or it's not you know something crazy every second of the second it's just a little chill all right a little chill all right here we go clock starts in seven seconds we're gonna start with that wall sit seven six five four three two one and tina started early i knew she liked this movement all right so i don't think they can see the clock though i'm gonna prop the clock up here guys all right we are 15 seconds in remember if you get off the wall early you start your reverse lunges or your step ups early okay eight seven six five four three two one all right now we're going to those reverse lunges or you can go into those step ups either one i'm good with tina's gonna rock what you doing step ups good so on your step ups for those that are stepping onto a box or stepping onto a chair or a stack of bumper plates make sure your feet are flat the whole time all right and those that are doing the lunges big chest let that front foot do all the work it's very similar to a step up all right both movements are very similar both working the same muscle groups here we go three two one and relax good job guys good job good job all right you have 25 more seconds all right until we go into the six inches all right so everybody looks really really good keep it up keep it up 15 seconds remember 30 second hold if you stop early you start your sit-ups early here we go 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 hands on the booty and hold and hold tight stomach and i want you to breathe tight stomach i want you to breathe tina's asking a great question do you can you do you flex your toes or do you you, you point them out either or either or up to you up to you it's all preference all preference all right 15 seconds in hang in there hang in there hang in there looking good 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and here we go feet are on the ground if you're watching tina good she comes up and touch her toes every single time because that's what she do good job tina good 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 that's it that's it that's it beautiful job 13 12 11 10 seconds 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and
Yeah, relax. All right. Great job. One round down. We have a total of four more to go. Love the energy that you guys are bringing to the table, right? Right. And this movement is pretty cool because you can do it in the living room if you live on the second floor. You don't have to worry about a lot of bumping and grumping. But uh, here we go. Clock starts bumping and grumping. You never heard that term? Okay. She forgot. Chest press. Here we go. Five, four, three. Arms are locked out. Two, one. And here we go. Hold it high. Hold it high. Hold it high. Huh? Yeah, just hold. Remember, guys, we're holding for the first 30 seconds unless you drop early. If you drop early, then you start your presses early. All right. So right now we are at the first 15 seconds of the 30 seconds. Remember, when we go into those press, all right, we're locking out every single time, letting that tricep hit the ground every single time, and um, getting as many reps as you can that are solid reps, not sloppy. Three, two, one, and go. All right, here we go. Blowing that air out every time you press up. Blowing that air out. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, ladies. Come on, fellas. Let's get after it. Right here, right now. Right here, right now. 20 seconds left. Good burn for those triceps. Keeping that stomach nice and tight. You're controlling your breathing. Here we go. Here we go. Give me 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds. We'll get a break. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Almost there. 5 seconds. 4, 3, 2, 1. And great job, Tina. Great job, guys. All right. 30 second rest. Rest, rest, rest for 30 seconds. Recover, shake it off. The next movement is gonna be that wall sit. And remember, on that wall sit, 90 degree, okay? From your heels to your knees to your butt, all right? Spine is on the wall, and we have 10 seconds till we get there. Good, you got any questions? Good. We don't need no towels. No daily sweat towels. No, we don't want that. Three, two, one, and go. We don't want, we don't want no towels, we want sweat. No, we want to sweat in our eyes. We want headbands. What y'all, do y'all want, do y'all want, y'all want towels or headbands? Towels or headbands? You guys let us know on Instagram, Daily Sweat. Why? You can have, you got a headband on now? All right, guys, you see how we, all day, every day, guys. Here we go, three, two, one, and perfect. All right, we're going to reverse lunges with a goblet position, or you're gonna go into those step ups, all right? Uh, Tina's gonna be rocking a 20 pound torpedo looks like. All right, here we go. Clock is already 20 seconds in. Let's go pick one, pick one. Whatever you want, whatever you want. You gotta go on, you gotta go, you gotta go. All right, Tina let, let, lost 15 seconds, guys. Hopefully you guys started earlier than that. But clock says you have eight seconds left. Seven, come on, six, five, four, three, two, one. And beautiful job, guys. All right, rest, rest, rest. Getting down to the ground. We're gonna start with six inches again. Remember, put those palms underneath that booty, okay? You can even ball your fists. I just don't want you guys arcing your back. Um, legs are going to be held out. I'm curious if you guys are holding it for the whole 30 seconds or are we stopping a little early and got to get more reps in. Here we go. 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6. Tight stomach. Breathe through it. 3, 2, 1, and we're holding. All right, here we go. Control your breathing, all right? Tina right now is in the body fat zone. She's at 65% of her max heart rate. Uh, shout out to my zone. If you don't have one, go to the daily sweat365.com website and get you a my zone. 15 seconds in, 15 seconds to go, Tina. Everybody at home, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. But if you happen to drop early, go ahead and start those sit-ups, baby. Here we go. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, and beautiful job. All right, now we're going into those sit-ups, all right? Try on your sit-ups, not to just flop down on the ground or just use momentum to get up there. I want you to be able to control up and control going down. Tina's doing an incredible job. If you notice, she gets up there, but notice how she controls her body weight. She's rolling that spine off and she's rolling it right back on. All right, my peeps, everybody has 10 seconds left. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and boom. All right, Tina. That's two. You guys at home, you have three left, all right? Tina, which one's the toughest one? The wall sit, just because you don't like wall sits, okay? I did know that. 
Now, by any chance, too, guys, I will say on the chest press or on the goblet step ups or reverse lunges, if if you need to bump up the weight a little bit, you can control it without you know taking breaks. Bump it up a little bit. I'm totally good with it. But let's get ready for that chest press. In three, two, one, and go. I ain't helping you. I ain't helping her. Do y'all got a? Do y'all have a personal assistant right now bringing the, the the torpedo to you guys and like what would she want from me? All right. Fifteen seconds. She's tripping, guys. All right, here we go. Clock says you have ten more seconds to hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Get ready. Three, two. One and go. All right, here we go. I want to see continuous movements, okay? I don't want you guys taking extended breaks because we only have 30 seconds left or 30 second presses. Tina's doing a great job locking her arms out every single time, keeping those elbows next to that rib cage, which means triceps are getting hit the way that we need to hit them, okay? Clock says you have 10 more seconds. Come on, everybody has at least three more reps. Come on, get it, get it up, get it up, get it up, get it up. Seven, six, five, four, three. Good job, guys, and relax. Beautiful job, all right? So let's transition to the next spot. It's gonna be the wall sit to the step ups or to the reverse lunges. Make sure you beat Tina to the box or to your lunge position because um, she only did 15 seconds last time. Y'all caught that? She really only did 15 seconds. All right, here we go. 10 seconds left in your recovery period. I know you guys are laughing at us, but uh, it is what it is. All right, here we go. Five, four, wall sit. Three, two, let me see some good form, baby. Good form, good form. All right, good, good, good. Tina's doing a great job keeping her spine against the wall. Uh, she has a 90 degree from her legs. Maybe she can go down an inch or two. There you go, good. All right, so remember, you're holding it the whole 30 seconds, but by any means, if you get up early, you gotta start those reverse lunges. You gotta start those uh, step ups a little bit early. Come on, guys, y'all can hold it for the next seven seconds. Come on, six, come on, you got it. Come on, come on, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Three, two, one, and beautiful job. All right, so now we're going into the step ups or we're going into those reverse lunges. Tina's gonna be rocking the reverse lunges this time. Notice the first two rounds, I want to say she did the step ups. So I'm cool if you guys are switching it up a little bit. I'm totally good. Still the same movement. The front leg is doing all the work. It's flat on the box or it's flat on the ground. Chest is big and tall. You have in that goblet position, whether you have a torpedo, uh, dumbbell, or kettlebell. All right. Taking a big deep breath accordingly, blowing the air out accordingly. And beautiful job. Good job, Tina. All right. Next movement is going to be the six inch. All right. Um, I think for me, the hardest hold will actually probably be the six inches. I think that'll be the hardest one. She didn't reply. That's how she be talking to me. All right, here we go. 12 seconds, 11, 10. I, I was having a conversation with you on camera and you supposed to say, yeah, you know, a little, little back and forth, a little, little back and forth. All right, three, two, one, and hold. All right, here we go. Heels off the ground, tight stomach, breathe guys tight stomach and breathe right now you squeezing your stomach right now you feel like your stomach is shaking and it's because it's stabilizing baby it's working all right so remember if you stop early you got to start them sit-ups early but you have 10 seconds left to that 30 second mark you can hold it if you haven't already stopped come on give me five more seconds four three two one and beautiful job beautiful job all right now we're getting into those sit-ups Get all the way up to those feet every single time. If you're doing crunches, make sure those head and shoulders come off the ground every single time. I'm loving what you guys bring to the table. Consistency, baby. And we know what consistency brings to life, all right? It, may, it brings results. It brings excellence. It brings productivity, all right? That's what we want. All right, good. Come on, we got five seconds left. Four, three, two, one, and boom. Tina G, we got three rounds down, okay? You guys at the gym or in your garage or in your living room, we have two rounds to go, okay? Extremely proud. Um, as I said earlier, we're doing a moderate workout. We have extended rest periods of time, but I want you guys not to get sloppy on these last two rounds. I want you to make sure that you're earning every single rep. With that being said, go ahead and grab your torpedo. Go ahead and grab your set of dumbbells or kettlebell. Let's get ready. Three, two, one, and you're holding it up. Tight stomach. I'm not bringing you no water. Tell me, am I gonna bring? I'm gonna bring you some water. Come on, guys. 
All right, we're gonna get a vlog. We're gonna have a vlog to show them how I operate in the house. Cause I'm the man. All right, here we go, guys. Five, four, three, two, one, and all right. Let's get some presses in, guys. Lock out every single time. Tight stomach. I don't want you guys holding your breath, okay? And um, yeah. I'm not going to talk about farting because Tina got on me about talking about farting with you guys. So I'm not going to talk about farting today. But when she ain't working out with us, we'll talk about farting on other days. All right. All right. Because she act like she don't be. Okay. I ain't. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And beautiful job, guys. Relax. All right. Here we go. Let's get to the next spot. Uh, you still have a, some time, so I don't have to rush you. So if you want to walk and get your water, you definitely can walk and swig on some water. There you go. Or maybe you want to just like take a selfie or a screenshot and say, man, I'm having a great time getting my daily sweat with Tina and Chris. If so, that's dope too. Um, but let's pick the wall that you're going to be on. And obviously, if you didn't have a wall, and I didn't say this earlier, you can always be in your squat position like you have a wall. Okay. All right. Three, two, one, and let's get it. All right. Here we go. 30 seconds, 30 seconds, you know the routine. If you earn the 30 seconds, you don't have to start the step ups or the reverse lunges early, but if you do, you know, have to, then you get some extra reps in. I'm good with either or. As y'all can see, that's fun to me. I know y'all was like, why is this, why is this fun? I think it's fun, I think it's great. All right, here we go, baby. Five seconds, four, come on. Three, two, one, and Tina held it another round. Way to work, Tina. All right, here we go. We're in reverse lunges or step ups. Tina's grabbing a 20 pound torpedo and she's gonna go with the reverse lunges on y'all. All right, here we go. Whether you're doing the reverse lunges, huh? No, oh, I mean, I'm good. You, you were at the same spot. The, the, the thing was there, the torpedo was there. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six. Good guys, good form. Let me see good form, let me see good form. Three, two, one, and relax. All right. Headed to the ground. Next movement is gonna be a six inch hold or sit-ups, depending on how fast you, you know, have to get to the sit-ups. But I believe that you can hold it the whole 30 seconds. All right, hands on your booty. You can ball that fist pump if need be. But let's get this party started in 10 seconds. All right, guys, super proud of you. Here we go. Let's get situated. Let's get started in three, two, one, and let's go. All right. Tight stomach, breathing. I want you to imagine your stomach like flat. I want you to imagine your stomach strong. I want you to imagine you on the beach in the two piece. So fellas, man, we on the beach with no shirt on. I guess it, it depends what, what beach you at, ladies. You might be, you might be doing the same thing. I mean, I'm just saying. All right, here we go. Five, four, three, two. One and another round done of holding. Now let's get those sit-ups in. All right, so in these sit-ups, I'm just looking for control, okay? Not something super fast. Control, control, control. We have 20 seconds left, okay? Tina's doing a great job of just getting to her feet. Some of you may be doing crunches. I'm good with either or, but I just want you to find success right now, and that's moving forward. If you can move forward in the movements that I'm giving you today, you're gonna get better, you're gonna get stronger, and that's what life's about. Three, two, one, and relax. All right, Tina, everybody, four rounds done. We're on our fifth and final round, so don't hold nothing back, okay? I want you guys to, to take it to the next level if you can, all right? Limit your breaks. You can go a little bit heavier, but keep the weight or your movement sustainable and not go unbroken. I want you to do that as well. But let's start with the chest press. Cross your chest, and you're holding it in five, four, three, two, one, and go. All right, here we go. Spine is on the ground, knees are bent, feet are flat, arms are locked out, and you're holding it. Right now, I just want you to focus on your breathe, breathe, and breathe. Just breathe, 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 okay? Tight stomach, breathe, breathe, breathe. Clock says you're halfway there. 15 in, 15 to go. Come on, you guys got it. You guys got it, you deserve this. Here we go, 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and chest press. All right, here we go, elbows tucked in. Let's get as many reps as we can, but reps need to be uh, solid, okay? No sl uh, sloppy form, no little mini me presses. Good, Tina, get it straight to my hand. Good, a little bit more in the angle. 
Good. There you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. 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 All right, everybody. You have 12 seconds. Last time doing these today. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and booyah. Great job. All right. Done with those. All right. No more chest press today unless you just do it on your own, okay? Next movement is going to be the wall sit. All right. So this one, make it your best run. If every round you had to stop, like, man, fight. Do whatever you can to hold it this whole 30 seconds. Or maybe you've done every round. Don't make this the round where you had to get up early. All right. Let's get ready. Get on that wall or whatever you're utilizing in three, two, one, and go. Good, good. All right, Tina has her spine on the wall. She has a 90 degree, her feet are flat. Now it's just about just embracing the suck, man. But I'm gonna say this again, I'm gonna say it boldly and I'm gonna say it proud, man. Whatever challenge you will change you. If you haven't seen no challenge, there's probably a chance you didn't see no change. I'm challenging you today to get better. Come on, man, hold it for the next five, four, three, two, one. Great job, Tina, great job, guys. All right, we get into those step ups or we get into those reverse lunges. Tina's going step up to so the fifth and final round, doing an incredible job, just like the lunges, keeping the front foot flat, whether it's on the ground or whether it's on whatever you're stepping on, keeping your shoulders pinched back, keeping that tight stomach. For the remainder of the time, she has 10 seconds to get quality step ups. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and perfect guys great job all right that's it done with the wall sits done with the with the uh, step ups done with the reverse lunges we're on our final movement of today's d25 strength workout here we go 15 seconds you ready tina all right same thing i encourage make this your best round if you dropped a couple times make this around you say i'm not gonna drop or i'm not gonna drop more than two times or one time or whatever it may be Three, two, one, and go. And if you haven't dropped, like, I'm not dropping this, like, I'm boss around here. I ain't dropping this round. I ain't dropping any other round while I'm going to start this round. All right. Here we go. Ten in. You guys got it. Super proud. Let's finish this thing. Here we go. 15 seconds in. 15 seconds to go. Focus on that stomach being nice and tight. Focus on your breathing. Don't hold your breath. Don't hold your breath. Come on, everybody. If you can hear my voice, I want you to know you can do this for the next four seconds. Three, two one and great job all right 30 seconds left in your workout for your d25 moderate workout on a great day to be alive on a day where you conquered on a day where you didn't procrastinate on a day you didn't make excuses you here and you're doing your thing here we go 13 seconds left 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 Two, one, and everybody relax. Yeah. Let's stay on the ground wherever you're at. I want to come and get some love with a fist pump. If you can hit me in. Yeah. Beautiful job. Great job, Tina. All right. Let's get a child pose. She lays on her stomach. Let's stretch her core out a little bit. So just like a push-up, she lays flat on the ground, but she's going to keep her hips on the ground and lengthen her arms. This is going to stretch our abs out a little bit. Try to sink in with your hips as much as possible. Let's hold this for 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Let's go into a lizard pose. Uh, Tina, it's just like a reverse lunge. I mean, yeah, like a reverse lunge. Get that foot up. But instead of having her hands in between, I want her to place them on her on her left thigh. That's the knee that is up, and I want her to be upright, and I want her to lean in with her hips. There you go. Good. So if you haven't checked out the podcast this week, definitely check it out. You can check it out on any platform that you listen to podcasts on. Or if you're a YouTuber like me, go to YouTube, mean, uh, excuse me, Daily Sweat 365 and subscribe to our channel, Switch Sides. So it's the same audio. It's just you get to see, you get to see your boy, right? You get to see your boy talk. But I'm a driver and I'm a podcaster, so I like listening to audio while I drive. So I understand for those that do that as well. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and relax. Tina, you got anything? Good. Well, hey, man, it's always an, a great, humbling, blessed feeling when I can work out with you guys. So I'm glad that you earned your D-sweat. If you haven't already, take a selfie. 
or screenshot let us know that you did the workout and what you thought about it by posting it on facebook at daily sweat 365 or instagram daily sweat underscore 365 but remember tomorrow makes consistency so make sure you press play on your d25 or d40 tina's out i'm out we see you later